Welcome to another Assessment Academy training video. This training video will be focused on the basics of Qualtrics. Qualtrics is a cloud-based survey application. Topics covered today will be logging in, your survey list, how to create a survey, how to create a question, how to distribute your survey, how to see responses, and additional help. To navigate to Sienna's Qualtrics page, first open a browser and in the address bar type in sienna.qualtrics at the Sienna Qualtrics login screen, click on the link under the username if you need an account, or put in your username and password that you used when signing up. Also, please read the guidelines at the bottom of the login page before distributing your survey. Once connected, your My Survey tab will be loaded showing all the surveys you have created and ones that have been shared with you. Each section has the owners, creators, of the surveys listed on the right-hand side, while icons indicate the accessible features you have been granted by the owners. At the top of the page, you can click Create Survey either in the My Survey tab or the Create Survey tab to create a survey from scratch. Click on the Quick Survey Builder or if you want to create a survey from one you have access to or from the library you have created on Qualtrics Global Library, let's create one from scratch. Type in the name of the survey that will help you find it as your survey library grows and help your coworkers find it if you plan on sharing it with them. At this point, you can also create a folder to organize your surveys either by clicking the blue drop down arrow and selecting from an existing list of folders or by typing in the name of your new folder. Once in your new survey, you will see Copy Items From, which you can import items from Qualtrics Global Library or your own, and Create New Item, which is what we will do. Clicking on the words or the green plus icon will insert a generic multiple choice question with the default radio button selected. Or you can use the drop down to select a different option. Let's choose descriptive text. By initially using this item type, you can write a short description of your survey, a list of instructions, or create a graphical header for your survey. If you'd like to add a question, use the buttons as I showed before, or hover over a question that currently exists and use the green plus buttons on the right hand side. Pressing the green button on the top adds a question before the previous question you are highlighted on. The green plus at the bottom adds the question after. The red minus icon deletes the question you are currently selected on. If you'd like to move the selected question, on the left hand side you will see gray up or down arrows. Clicking on them sends the question in that direction. So let's add a question. I'm going to hit the green plus icon at the bottom of the question and the default multiple choice question will come up. We're going to change the item type by clicking on the green box. These are all the options. There's slider, matrix table. So we'll use a matrix table and it's selected as the Likert scale as default. There's a bipolar scale, which we will talk about later, and many other options. You can add additional scale points at the top. We're going to put in five for this Likert scale. Once the number of scale points have been chosen, you can change the scales manually by clicking on the titles. You can also have Qualtrics change the scale points automatically by using the Automatic Statements checkbox or Automatic Scale Points checkbox for either row or column. Checking the Automatic Scale Points will default to a Disagree to Agree scale. If the default scale is not to your liking, you can click on the gray box and choose from a multitude of other choices. For this question, we'll stick to the default. These scale points are used for a range of responses for the statements that head up each row. I'll add some statements now. Now 
Now let's add a new item. Let's go back to the matrix tables and try bipolar. The bipolar option allows you to rate an item based on a scale from its highest point to its lowest point. First create a general question, then the statements and scale points after. And now your respondents can answer from one end of the spectrum to the other end of the spectrum. Let's add a multiple choice question. This is the default format. And we'll choose automatic choices again. And choose a time scale. Intervals has a time scale. Now if you have a particularly important question that you need answered, under validation options, you can click the force response checkbox, and this makes the question that you have selected required in the survey. The force response checkbox is available on all questions. And one more thing before we distribute, if you scroll to the bottom of where your questions are, you can see the ones that you have deleted in a trash bin at the bottom. And if you need to restore them, you can with the right links. We can now scroll to the top and preview our survey. And this will show you exactly what the survey looks like to the people taking it. And if you have any pipe text or skip logic, you can test it out here by taking the survey yourself. Uh, if you have required questions that you don't feel like filling out, you would just click the Ignore Validation, and you can start over with the button next to that. Then in the Distribute Survey tab, you can click on that, and it'll take you to this page where you can activate your survey. Once activated, you'll get an anonymous survey link that you can paste into any email and send to whomever you'd like to take the survey. You could also use the survey mailer under Email Survey. And under the To section, add individual email addresses or use panels that you have created. Once you have finished formatting your email, you can click Schedule Mailing. It will ask you to save your email ahead of time. And then if you scroll up to the top, find the results under the View Results tab and you can create new reports and view them. You can also obtain additional help from Q University, which is Qualtrics's online training program at qualtrics.com slash training. Thank you for watching our Assessment Academy training video. If you have any questions or need additional help, you can contact me, Ryan Rose, at my email. Thank you for watching.